Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to customize your Blogger homepage and make it look like this. Now, this is a website that we had designed previously and this is how it looks. We have all these different sections over here for this website. And it is also responsive, so if you decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So we're going to use uh, this design as the homepage of our Blogger website. Now for that we're going to create a new page in our Blogger website and uh, we're going to redirect the homepage of the Blogger website to that new page. And uh, in the new page we will add this custom design. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, let's create a new page. Let's go over here to pages and let's click on new page and uh, let's give it a title of home page. And for now, let's go ahead and just type testing over here and let's publish this page. Let's also go to options and uh, click on do not allow comments and let's click on publish. Right now, let's go ahead and open this page. Alright, so this is our new page. And we're going to change this design and make it look like this. So here for the theme, I'm using this theme called Soho Light, which comes by default with Blogger. And now let's go ahead and redirect the home page to this page right here. So let's go over here to settings. And let's scroll down. And here you have to go to errors and redirects and click on custom redirects and add a new redirect. Now here we need to go from the home page to this page right here. So I just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here and let's click on OK and let's click on save. So now we can see here we have one redirect from the home page to this page right here. So now if you go to the home page, so let's delete this and go to the home page. Let's press enter. Now we can see that we are redirected to this custom home page that we created. All right, now let's go ahead and start customizing this page. So the first thing we will do is we will remove all this content from here. So first of all, let's remove this popular posts widget. So let's right click and go to inspect. And here we can see that we have this widget with an ID of popular posts one. So let's hide this. Let's go back to our page. This is the home page. And here let's go ahead and add a style tag. Now before doing this, you need to make sure that you are in the HTML view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. So here in the style tag, let's add some CSS. So let's type hash popular posts one. And here let's go ahead and type display of none. And uh, let's click on update and let's see whether there is any change. So let's go ahead and click on this refresh button. And now we can see that the popular post widget is gone. In the same way, let's go ahead and remove this footer so right click and go to inspect and for the footer we have this id of footer so let's target that here i'll just add a comma and let's type hash footer and update and now if we refresh this we can see that the footer is gone now in this way let's go ahead and remove everything else so let's right click over here and go to inspect and this has a class of post title so let's add the post title over here. Just type dot post title because it is a class. And let's go back and uh, here we also have this post footer. So here we can see we have this post footer class. Let's hide that as well. Let's type post footer. And now if you go ahead and zoom out, we can see that we also have this sidebar. So let's right click and go to inspect. And for the sidebar, we have this aside. So let's hide that as well. So here I'll just type aside. And let's go back and uh, let's see what else we need to do. I'll just uh, update this and reload this page. All right now let's go ahead and uh, right click over here and go to inspect. Now here we can see we have the post sidebar. So let's hide this as well. And uh, the next thing is uh, this header right here. So let's inspect. And here we can see we have this uh, header with a class of center top container. So let's hide that as well.
let's update and reload this page now here we can see we have this underline so let's see what is that let's inspect and here for the post body container we have this before so that is the underline so let's hide the before as well here we can see we have the selector so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and let's update let's go back and uh, reload now we can see we have some margins so let's right click and go to inspect and here if you go to the widget so here for the widget we can see that we have some margin of 50 pixels zero so let's remove the margin of this selector main widget so here i'll just type main widget margin of zero let's see whether we have any other margins so right click and go to inspect here we also have this post header so we need to hide that as well so let's select that and uh, here we have the selector let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here for the display none property let's go back and uh, let's go to inspect and for the post outer we have some margin at the bottom so let's remove that as well so we have this post outer and uh, this is the selector of the post outer so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here for margin zero and let's update this let's go back and uh, reload now we can see we don't have any margin or padding now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to set the max width for this uh, content right now it has some max width value set by the theme now we need to remove that and we need to set the max width to 100 percent so let's right click and go to inspect now here if you go to this division with an id of main we can see that it has a width of 922 pixels so let's set the width of the main to 100 percent so let's go back and uh, here let's type hash main width of 100 percent let's update this and let's go back and reload this page and now we can see that everything looks all right we don't have any padding or margin or any max width set now we can simply go ahead and add our design to this page so let's go back and uh, let's remove this testing text from here and uh, here i'll just add a comment i'll just type custom page css and uh, let's go to our source code and uh, let's copy all this css from here and let's paste it over here so we have copied and pasted all the css now let's go ahead and copy and paste the html so let's go back to our home page and uh, let's go to the html file let's copy the html from this line of code till the end right here and uh, let's paste it over here now we also need to copy the javascript so let's create a script tag for that and uh, let's go back and let's go to the main.js file let's copy this javascript and paste it inside the script tag now the next thing we need to do is we need to update the links of the images so right now it is set to images forward slash the image name but in our blogger website we don't have this images folder and we also don't have this image uploaded so what we need to do is we need to upload these images somewhere and get the link and paste it over here so for that i'll use a service called cloudinary so you can simply go over here to cloudinary.com and create a free account and then log into the account and go to media library and go to folders and here you can create new folders for your projects so let's create a new folder over here and just click on this uh, create a folder button and let's create a folder called musician website and uh, let's click on save so here we can see that the folder has been created so let's open the folder and here we need to upload the images here are all the images that i have for this project so i'll just select all of these and i'll just drag and drop them over here and now we can see that the images are being uploaded and here we can see all the images have been uploaded now we can simply go ahead and update the image links so let's go back and uh, here we have logo one so let's search for logo one and this is the logo one so let's click on this button called copy url and let's paste it over here so i'll just remove this and paste the new url let's do the same for all these other images 
so this is logo 2 let's copy this and paste it over here and then we have logo 3 which is right here copy it and paste it over here and then we have logo 4 let's copy it and paste it and lastly we have logo 5 for this section and then we have these two images thumbnail 1 and uh, thumb 2 so let's go ahead and copy these so this is thumb 2 let's copy this and paste it for thumb 2 and uh, let's copy thumb 1 from here and uh, let's paste it over here now the last thing is the hero image which is uh, this image right here now it is basically added to the CSS so let's go to the CSS and here we can see for the header we have this background URL so let's copy the link of the hero image which is this one right here let's click on copy URL and let's paste the link over here now let's go ahead and update some links that we have over here so here we can see we have the home page so let's go ahead and copy the link of the home page which is this link right here let's copy and paste it over here let's do the same for the desktop navigation and we'll do the same for this logo and uh, then we have all these other pages so you can add the links of the pages over here I'll just go ahead and change one of these to blog so let's tap blog over here and it will display the list of all the blog posts now since we have redirected the home page of our blogger website to this custom page we will not be able to see the list of blogs so for that you need to go to this link right here which is the website forward slash index.html and here we can see all the links of the blog posts so let's copy this link and paste it over here for blog let's do the same for the desktop nav and let's change this to blog right now let's go ahead and update this and let's see whether it works let's go back to our website and uh, reload the home page now here we can see we have some problems in our design that's because uh, the theme already has a class container and we also have a class container in our project so if you go to index.html here we can see that we have this class of container so what we need to do is uh, we need to replace all the container with something else so let's go back and uh, here for the CSS let's change the container to my container let's do the same for all the other container instances so here we have a container so let's change this to my container and uh, here we have container so let's change this to my container here also we have container let's change this to my container and then here we have container let's change this to my container and here also now let's go ahead and make the changes in our HTML so wherever we have container we need to change it to my container so let's type my over here and uh, let's scroll down here we have container so let's change this to my container here also we have container and here we have container and then here we have container and here we have container so here also we have container and in the footer also we have the container right now let's go ahead and update this and let's go back and reload and now we can see that we have this uh, full width for this uh, nav bar but we have some problems for the other content and in our blogger theme we also have the header so if you go back to our CSS here we have the header and we are adding some styles over here so let's also add a class to the header so let's type dot custom so we will add this custom class to the header so let's copy this and wherever we have the header we'll just change it to header custom here if you scroll down here we have the header so let's add a class and uh, let's type custom and let's update this let's go back to our website and uh, reload now there's one more element that is restricting the width so let's right click and go to inspect and uh, here if you go to post here we can see that it has a width of 682 pixels so let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here for 100% width so I'll just add a comma and paste it over here and let's update this and uh, let's reload this page 
and now we can see that everything looks all right now we have this uh, header displayed over here so let's right click and uh, go to inspect and uh, let's see what is the class of this header so it is collapsed header centered top placeholder so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here for display none and let's update this let's go back to our page and reload so now everything is looking all right now we have some gap at the bottom so let's see what's that let's go to inspect and uh, let's open this division and it's the comment section so let's go ahead and hide that as well so we have this class of comments let's go ahead and add that over here comments and update this let's go back to our page and reload and now we can see that the gap is gone and everything is looking all right and with that we have customized our blogger homepage to this design that we created now in the next video i'll show you how to add this nav bar to all the pages so right now if you go to blog here we can see that we have the nav bar of the theme in the next video i'll show you how to add the same nav bar to all the pages of your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day